Squad leader, let's go. Welcome to the regional training center where you conduct your workout before you deploy. You've already been through basic, but since you likely forgot already, we're going to cover the fundamentals. Your compass at the bottom of your display is essential to figuring out which way you're going. Orders from your squad and fire team leaders will also appear here. Now head northwest towards the outlaw course. This is fucking awesome. Привет, комрад! Hello, comrade Leonard! Comrade Carlson! Ah, that should be lieutenant. Ay, blat! Lieutenant Phil! <laughs> Personally, I would have preferred a drone. The Phil drone. But this is still pretty awesome. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, I need to go to the toilet quickly. <laughs> Out fucking standing, pile. Out fucking standing. Okay, let's go to the obstacle course. <laughs> get your ass out of here. Get your ass to this obstacle course. Now, normally you'd think you could just jump through, but they've actually made it that you can't jump. You actually have to go around. You can't cheese your way pace. through this course. Hoorah! Let's go! Open over the obstacle. Jump up to reach the top and pull yourself over. Oh, now this is sweet. This dude is going to give us a boost. You can now boost people. I mean, come on. Looks like you need some help, so why don't you ask your fellow <laughs> knucklehead over there to help you over this wall. Make sure when you jump, you land on the white board. No, ah, you see? The other ah, side. You don't jump if on the you white fall, board. You gotta start again. You're gonna take damage. Don't be a piece of yet like me. Do it properly. Opa. What's up? You wanna jump to or you gonna like take damage? Fire. You will be stressed and this is a live fire exercise. Keep your head down and keep moving. Oi, bleat. Enemy contact! Instruction will be about field dressings. The standard issue field dressing is critical for stopping all kinds of bleeding and trauma. Not only can you use it on yourself, but to also stabilize other wounds in the field, as you will see in the next station. You guys are riding here. Uh, <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself, boys? Uh, you're the only one who talks. Sweet, bro. Best you guys keep quiet. Oh, no. Nah. Field dressing on a seemingly incapacitated man on the ground. Thanks. Welcome to my main base. There's a number of things you can do here, from weapons familiarization to learning about how you can communicate with your squad. Go around and take a look, and when you're done, head to the motor pool at the end of the base. Sorry, copy. Okay, now this place. This is an example of some of the ways Sorry, you can be deployed yeah, in the field. Tips. The rally point is only for you and your squad, while the big bunker-looking structure is a hab. 
Pads are meant for your entire team and are found only on forward operating bases or FOBs. In both circumstances, you will need to rearm your weapons from any nearby sources before moving out. We all know the good old fashioned radio, the hip. Now this is sweet. Sup, Sergeant? Yeah, I got a mic. Listen up. Communication is critical to surviving in a battlefield. Local comms allow you to talk with friendlies within a radius around you. Very useful for on-the-fly comms, inter-vehicle comms, and generally just getting the attention of the man next to you. Also, you're issued a squad radio, which you can use to talk with your entire squad no matter where they are on the field. Sweet. Self-explanatory. I mean, and the dude just said it, but yeah, this is this is pretty sick. This right here is the tactical map, where you can see all your friendly positions, orders from your squad leaders, and reports of the enemy activity. If any new guys watching this, please do us all a favor. Study this. If you're unsure of your target, before you shoot, open your map and have a look. Um, it has helped me quite a lot uh, not engage friendly so I make myself look like a dumbass um, I do still do it every now and then but for the most part when I'm unsure I pop up in the map I have a look if he's not green or blue I fucking light him up that's how it goes the map is divided up into grids each grid is designated by a letter and a number if you want to be more specific each grid is further divided into sectors as laid out on a number pad on a standard keyboard please guys learn this we can't ping locations anymore unless you're a fire team leader it makes it a hell of a lot easier if you can just give us a grid reference cool sweet hmm let's go to the vix first sergeant mason what's going on brah okay all right if you look over here this little again. diorama represents the armor distribution on m1a2 main battle tank in order for an anti-tank weapon to deal any damage, it needs to be able to penetrate the armor. No penetration, no fun. No fun. Here are some of the light vehicles that you might encounter. Often they're the logistics trucks meant to carry some. If you look over here, you may encounter some oh. of these wheeled vehicles. Often they're used for troop transport, but also can put down a decent amount of firepower downrange. I highly recommend you do not use these as frontline units or you're likely to get your butt shot off. But honestly, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. <laughs> oh, wouldn't you, bruh? Ah. All vehicles have various components that can take damage, the most common being the engine. There are other parts like wheels, tracks, turrets, and even ammunition storage that can take damage and affect the vehicle in different ways. Guys, you need to study this. This needs to be your bible. You need to know where to put your shots. You know, you need to know this shit in your sleep. Very good, very okay, nice. look over here on this board are some of the heavy track vehicles you might encounter. Big freaking monsters like the main battle tank and the infantry fighting vehicle can be your best friend or worst enemy mm. depending on which side you're on. Often they require a lot of anti-tank weaponry to take down. Sweet. <laughs> okay, let's start at the beginning. This is your standard issue rifle. It may come in different forms and attachment configurations, but it does what any good infantry weapon does best. Suppress and kill the enemy. All riflemen and support roles carry this as their primary weapon. The best way for you to shoot is in single shots. Take a moment between each shot and make sure you're still on target. Whoa. Let me show you guys something quickly. Come on. Oh, come on. Let me jump through. I whoop. Beast it. Ah, that blocked it off. I can't get through there. <laughs> Okay, but basically, these targets are the real deal. They're the real soldier in game. They've just been flattened. Um, that's pretty sick. So they just want you to be able to ID the enemy, and what better way than to use the real thing? They'll spit out blood, so you know the difference between hitting cardboard and hitting a target. <laughs> this is pretty sick. But yeah, teach you how to steady, change between auto. Cool. Automatic riflemen and machine gunners carry a machine gun like this to the field. Flying from a supported position, these weapons are highly effective at suppressing the enemy and can deliver the firepower of a team of riflemen. Ooh. 
Oh hmm, really nice. I like this gun. I'm going to take it home. Does any marksman issue with a high caliber rifle designed to reach out, touch the enemy from further ranges than a standard issue rifle? Slow is smooth, as smooth as fast. Take your time when it comes to these crucial shots. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. Oh, bubble yard. If you run out of ammo on your primary, your sidearm is your next best friend in emergency situations. Pistols are not designed to be effective at longer ranges, so don't try and hit a fly at 100 meters. Sorry, copy. Oh. Blue yard. <laughs> Au revoir. Mm -hmm. Hand grenades are incredibly dangerous and should be treated with respect. However, they are a great means of clearing out a room at a group of enemies. All rolls are issued with these, either in the fragmentation or smoke variety for concealment. This roof is dangerously low for throwing inside here. Okay, let me stand closer. Oh, bleh. <laughs> it would have been so cool if there was a trench that you could, but I suppose, I mean, you got this block between us, you don't need the trench. Oh, probably not. Really nice. Grenadiers in your squad carry a grenade launcher slung under their primary weapon. These fire 40mm grenades and are highly effective against infantry in the open and light vehicles. Just remember the grenades need a few meters of arm, so you can't fire these at point blank range. I love that it tells you 5 to 10 meters before the grenade is active. So if it just bounces off, please know and why. And the tank holes are issued with rocket launchers that, depending on their yield, can damage and destroy enemy vehicles. The rockets need a bit of distance to arm, so avoid firing these at close range. The launcher also fires a deadly back blast, so make sure your rear is clear before firing. 20 to 30 meters. Okay, before I start this, I just want to say a few things have changed, or at least uh, from what I remember, a few things have changed. First of all, you can no longer drive into the HAB radius, well the FOB radius, and deploy the supplies while you're driving. The supplies will only deploy after the lodge has come to a complete stop. Second thing, you check the new way of offloading and unloading. This means that you no longer need to have permission to actually commandeer the vehicle and then start offloading. Any old dude who's close to the vehicle can come and offload or load, whichever you need to do. Now, what actually makes this quite special, if you've got a full squad and you guys are in a fucking hurry to offload the supplies, if all of you come here and do it at the same time, um, basically it just increases the time uh, well, not increases, decreases the time at which the supplies all drop, so you can rapidly deploy all of the supplies in the lodgy. Um, just a little some, something I think is pretty special. Um, what's this dude doing? Okay, yeah, let's continue. Okay, we need to load the shit. Oh, a little bit too much. Roger Let's that. Go. Oh shit, our hab's gone down. Holy crap, I am absolutely amazed you 
possibly made it here. I guess there isn't just empty space in that grape of yours. Now get the supplies off the freaking truck now. Let's go. The squad leader has put down the stakes for where the new half is going to go. Get your shovel out and build it up, soldier. Let's go. <laughs> we set up a mock scenario where you will need to execute the technique of fire and maneuver to advance on the enemy. Suppress the enemy machine gun positions and use the wall on their fire to advance. No. Oh, this is fucking they sweet. They will open fire if they see you. These, so make sure you take them down before they smoke your ass. These dudes that are actually shooting back at us are AI that they actually developed uh, for this. It's pretty sweet, I must say. Fair enough, they could use a little bit of work. Oh boy. For the most part, they're pretty decent. Apparently they got an insane reaction time. Alright, get to that freaking door. If you got a grenade, it would behoove you to use it now. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh shit, I thought it fell down. Oh, what the fuck? Clear the building all the way to the roof. Make sure you get every last one of them. Good work clearing that building, soldier. One of your jobs on the battlefield is the infantry men is to take and hold ground. Since you have just cleared the capture zone of all enemy forces, you can now capture the structure for your team. Cool, we're capping. We're taking this objective. Oh, I got a first cap before it becomes available. This is my type of music. Objective capture. Man, Objective fantastic. Fantastic. Now let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> Our last exercise here is to destroy the enemy's fob radio. Lo get back, get back! Anything now? You've taken down the enemy fob, one of their primary means of reinforcement. There are alternative means of taking down enemy fobs such as your shovel, but explosives tend to be the most effective. Thinking about boots like you in charge of C4 is what keeps me up at night, but you somehow <laughs> managed to blow yourself up. So that's good, I guess. This concludes your infantry pre deployment training. There are still many aspects of the battlefield that only experience can teach you. So learn from your buddies and trust your squad leaders. If you need more practice on a particular weapon system or vehicle, the Jensen's range facility is available at any time. Good luck out there, soldier. 
This is so good. We have needed this shit for so long. Very nice. Well done, OWI. Well done.